always had a real problem with math. It was my downfall in school. I was always really, really low in math. And, but many years ago, I tried, I made a special effort to try to bring my math skills up. Anyway, um, I saw this thing on YouTube that was simply about the fact that 7 times 8 equals 56. Okay, and it said 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8. 56 equals 7 times 8. Numbers line up in a row. Numbers line up. Ain't it great? 5, 6, 7, 8. 56 equals 7 times 8. And from from the time that I saw that thing a few times, I was able to remember 56 equals 7 times 8. I And I have always had so much trouble remembering that. Okay. I thought, was this made especially for Denise No? That YouTube? <clears throat> I wrote to uh, Dr. Arthur Benjamin about this. And he said, cute. Thanks for sharing. Indeed, the three multiplication problems that people have the most trouble with are 6 times 7, 6 times 8, and 7 times 8. I should probably mention that 6 times 8 doesn't give me that much trouble. Because it has never given me that much trouble because I always kind of remember it as, you know, 48. Okay, but he goes on to say, <clears throat> 6 times 8 equals 7 times 7 minus 1. This trick works whenever two numbers differ by 2. Square the middle number and subtract 1, and you get the answer. So that's, you know, a mnemonic. That's a memory device to help you remember that 6, six times 8 equals 48. Because it's um, 7 times 7, 49 minus 1. Okay. So, uh, and he remarked that uh, now we have a good mnemonic for 56 equals 7 times 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. Numbers line up. Ain't it great? Okay. And he says, all we need now is a good one for 6 times 7 equals 42. You know, a good way to, a good memory device for that. Okay. So I wrote this. How are you that I can't remember that 6 times 7 equals 42? Makes me so blue that I can't remember that 6 times 7 equals 42. Sue, 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 help me remember that 6 times 7 equals 42. Okay, do we have a mnemonic now? <clears throat>